How are you guys this week? It is Monday down at Frankie's Free Range Meat and we're gonna do a new style of vlog. So instead of me like going down on a Monday or a Tuesday and running around like a crazy person all over the place, I'm gonna do like a weekly vlog thing where you guys are gonna see a few minutes of each day of the week. So it's kind of like the highlights and the exciting stuff and just kind of more content in general. Uh, so, Mondays are usually our busy day where we ship out pretty much all the meat packages. In regards to what I did today, I went to the restaurant supply store to buy some stuff for my guys and some miscellaneous supplies. And uh, we just got down here, so. So we got some deliveries. This looks like the vinyl and the brackets for the warehouse door. More importantly, our biltong and beef sticks are back. Yeah, guys, so we have the beef sticks back in stock in small bags and larger bulk bags. Same with the biltong. We have both the plain and the spiced biltong. Uh, these are eight ounce bags. We're also gonna have two ounce bags for each of them. Yeah, I don't know if and when we're gonna have jerky again. Personally, I like the biltong more in general than any jerky, but I don't know, we might either get our own jerky machine or I might have a company make some for me. Uh, we'll see, you know, the, the reason to do the jerky over the biltong would be if it's more affordable, but it's the same price, rather just have the biltong. So my guys are packing up the orders. It's around one o'clock now. Uh, I did the organ supplements, Wi-Fi shielding stuff. I think I still got some more I have to do. These are the egg orders that are going out this week. Most of the dairy has been sold. This is some um, raw milk, raw milk kefir. Fresh farm cheese unsalted back in stock. We got some heavy cream. Water looks amazing as usual. Water kefir in stock. We got the water kefir grains as well. Roast beef looks beautiful. I'll have to grab some of that for lunch. And we got some prime rib here. Might be the last week of the, the prime rib for a little while. But we are sold out of chicken eggs, unfortunately. We do have some duck eggs left. My duck farmer is kind of pulling through this week. Uh, he's sending us some extra duck eggs and some quail eggs. And his uh, brother has some chicken eggs available. So we're gonna still have some eggs in stock uh, for the next few weeks. It's just gonna be uh, mostly duck eggs. And then hopefully our chicken farmer is back up and operating in a month and a half. So yeah, if you guys want the eggs, be sure to check both the Frankie Shirange Me website and the Frankie Shirange Foods website because on the foods website, we have the quail eggs, duck eggs available, and we're gonna do the chicken eggs in smaller amounts because on the meat website, you can only order 12 dozen eggs at once. So I'd rather have, you know, 10 people buy three dozen eggs instead of two people buying 12 dozen eggs. We did restock a decent amount of stuff in the freezer this week. We got some whole beef tenderloins back available. Chicken came in on Friday as usual. We got everything, drumsticks, chicken thighs, a lot of chicken breast, all different sizes on the chicken breast. You guys are like eight, 10, 12, 14 ounce breasts. Very nice small portions of skin on chicken breast. Wagyu ribeye is back in stock. Nice little treat. And a more affordable treat, much more affordable treat, are Wagyu picanha, which we've been missing for quite a while. But I mean, you know, this is like half the price of the Wagyu ribeye steak and it's basically just as delicious. So I'm kind of happy to carry this. Yeah, right. Wagyu, Wagyu pecan is really nice because it's affordable and you're still getting that high marbling. Collagen extract restocked every week as usual. Restock the organ grind too. If you guys want the whole beef belly slabs, we finally have these back as well as the one pound portion belly. Uh, we were just selling the bacon for a little while, which we still have. The uh, tri-tip is now in smaller portions. So we have, you know, the single beef tri-tips around two pounds each. A lot of people like smoking these, putting them on the grill. And here's some of the smaller tri-tips over here. So we're blowing through these New York strip steaks. This has been the sale item for the past two weeks. We got those. And now we have these over here. 10 ounce New York strip steaks, nice portions, lowest price online by far. Yeah, these are the uh, the other meat orders my guys had packed up. These are these are the really large orders. There's the uh, the beef bacon. 
running low on the ground bison, but we did get one pound ground venison portions available. So if you guys have been waiting for one pound ground venison, very affordable price online. Fully stocked up on prime rib roast. These are nice, all different sizes, four, five, six, seven, eight pounds for you guys. And we got the eye round roast back too. Some of you guys, I think it's really just one customer that buys like eight of these at once. <laughs> and down there, are some bonus shortbreads. Yeah, so all of this and all of that is the, the laying hens from the chicken farmer. So I think we're gonna do a local chicken package. Yeah, this is even more of the, the local chicken package. Yeah, guys, I'm being like way too nice. I've helped these Amish people out way too much. Like, I'm basically paying half this chicken butcher's salary for the year. So I'm sitting on all this chicken. I'm waiting on the final bill from him so we can price it, but we're gonna have like a crazy, crazy affordable corn and soy free chicken. It's gonna be by far the lowest price online. So I think in a week or two, you guys should see local chicken share at the top of the website it's going to be like 120 bucks and you're going to get enough chicken to feed an army for a week uh, you know for me as long as like we're not losing money on it and we're supporting a bunch of people that's okay we made some of the tatomi's vegan cookies over the weekends these are the rejects uh so so the ones that are actually in the in the bags look a lot better but you know these are nice and firm fresh super delicious and calorically dense i ate like two of these for lunch yesterday and I wanted more. Yeah, all of our bars, guys, are made with super high quality organic ingredients. They're delicious, they're tasty, and they're calorically dense. So you can't go in the store and find anything remotely close. You know, they're not using organic ingredients and when they are, it's filled with crappy stuff like brown rice protein, pea protein, stuff you don't want to be putting in your body. I uh, still didn't get the dryer and washer installed. The guy was busy and I also think I'm going to get, uh, we have our gas burners to put over here to make some soups and stuff. Uh, so I'm going to probably get a hood exhaust and, and run that out there. I wish I knew about this used restaurant guy. I, pay, I think that fan was like 1500 new. I could have bought one for a few hundred bucks, but go figure. Yeah, so I'm looking forward to that in, uh, in a few weeks. I think we're going to start doing like uh, beef barley soup. I want to try at least once and then we might do like a chicken uh, stew base so it's going to be like chicken stock maybe some vegetables and chicken meat and then you can take that and like add noodles to it to make your own chicken noodle soup yeah i bought these two stock pot burners i got a good price you know a thousand dollars for these uh used and these are like over two grand each new but you know these are gas so you know burning up a lot of oxygen in the room i can't use them in here so i need to get them set up over there with some stuff yeah maybe that's going to be like two months away uh beef barley stew uh we're definitely going to do it but uh, still September, still September. We can, we can be patient. I think, I think late October, November, we're gonna do the turkey pre-orders and then start making soups and stuff. See if we have some time. We're running low on the dark chocolate granola bars, but we still have the white chocolate somewhere around here. Meat granola, we restocked last week. Meat granola is back. These are the white Tatomi's cookies. And we also have the dark to tell me cookies with our new bags that have like all the ingredients on them and the nutrition facts these are really nice bags yep. limited amount of pemmican but we should be having uh the new pemmican batch coming in soon i'm looking forward to being able to do the plain pemmican for you guys uh, a lot of you guys have asked for that just beef and fat it's not going to taste good but i'll do it these are all the artisanal artichokes and capers and fig jam and stuff we have on the foods website this is the new Artie's in malt vinegar, a little plastic action. The honeys are restocked, wildflower, as well as the orange honey. Yeah, I don't think it's too much more going on today. I'm not gonna talk a lot about the potato chips and I'll save some stuff because, I mean, Monday's gonna be the longest day in these logs for sure because that's where a decent amount's going on, but uh, there, should, there should be something new happening every day for the most part. I mean, I think that's everything for Monday. It's about 2 p.m. and I haven't eaten anything yet today and I still have my work to do. So uh, let me let me let me get some stuff finished here, guys. But, you know, we, we have a lot of shipments we're waiting on this week. Our Amish buddy should be making the potato chips. We got some new eggs coming in and a whole bunch of other new products. I'm hoping to launch one or two of them this week. So 
next two, three months should be pretty big. I'm excited, you know, so see you guys tomorrow for Tuesday. What's up guys? So it's like one in the morning on Monday night and I'm having an existential crisis <laughs> on my computer. I, I don't know how much money I just spent. I ordered like $700 worth of uh, ingredients to make sauerkraut and, and sour pickles. So we should have those in a few weeks organic lacto fermented high quality probiotic stuff we're going to do the beef and barley soup this week i i'm having everything come on wednesday so i'm definitely going to lose my mind with that uh the potato chips are coming next week so uh this week that you guys are seeing the video the potato chips will be back on friday we got a whole bunch of other like new products on the foods website coming in uh we got like organic sugar molasses for you guys to make the water kefir with. We might have some chocolate, some pancake mix, some maple syrup, just a, a few new uh, odds and ends here and there on the foods website. So that's a, another thing going on this week. Uh, spent way too much money and I had to buy like a bunch of stuff on Amazon for, uh, you know, making the sauerkraut, the pickles. Uh, we, we got a lot of stuff coming guys. I'm excited. We're going to do um, the moisturizer cream back on Frankie's Naturals. That should have launched already. Uh, we're going to do the remineralizing tooth powder. Probably the lip balm too. We'll bring back with the beef tallow. Uh, we got a lot of stuff coming on organ supplements, some mastic. Uh, and then we should be able to restock the glandulars on organ supplements, hopefully uh, within the next month or two. So there's like a ton of stuff I'm juggling right now that I have on the table um, that, uh, that, that should be, you know, ready within two to three months. So it should be a lot of stuff and then hopefully cool down a little bit, but I don't know. I feel like eventually I'm going to bite off more than I can chew. These credit card bills are scaring me. It's not like the best business strategy to like spend all your operating capital on new ideas every week. <laughs> like your cash flow goes up and you make more money every week, but you just spend it all so you don't save. And probably why I don't have a farm in Slaughterhouse yet, but hey, we got Lemon Light and 19 new different products every week, so go figure. All right, guys, it is Tuesday. Got a lot of deliveries in, a lot of Amazon stuff, and our mastic tins have arrived, so we're gonna have the more affordable mastic uh, pebbles still on organsupplements.com. We're still waiting on the uh, powder capsules. And the uh, main thing I'm trying to sort out today is uh, we got a new dry ice supplier that is like half the price, but they can't deliver on Monday, so we're trying to figure out, okay, it's probably still worth it if they bring it on Tuesday because of how much cheaper it is, but uh, I'm trying to sort that out logistically and get that as soon as possible because I will be saving like literally a few thousand dollars per month. So it's, it's, it's a huge deal. Uh, you know, probably the biggest cost of goods reduction that I've had so far on the business. So I just got to print out a few orders today. Uh, we got to fill maybe 30 or 40 orders for all the non-meat businesses like organ supplements, Wi-Fi shielding, Frankie's Naturals. I got to do all those orders. It shouldn't take me more than half an hour. And after that, I, I got to I got to organize my tools so then I can put up the the two vinyl door strips. And uh, yeah, I don't really have that much to do down here, but I'll probably spend a few hours down here. And then um, hopefully my uh, electrician contractor comes because there's a bunch of stuff he needs to fix. And we also got to uh, maybe get some restaurant equipment in because uh, I'm just making sure we have everything set up. We can do the beef, barley soup and sauerkraut and pickles and stuff now, but uh, in the future, I want to get um, the better gas restaurant equipment so that I can caramelize the vegetables easier and the soup will taste a little better, but nothing crazy. The main thing that I have to do every day is like print and organize all the orders on the computer. And I mean, since I have like six different business websites, it's very confusing. And also there's like some nuances, whether it's like corporate chills, placing fake orders, or just a lot of very specific stuff that I can kind of only do myself. I couldn't really train someone to do because there would always be something they'd be missing. But we got all the orders printed out. It takes me about an hour every single day. And then I got maybe two more hours of work, computer and customer service business related every day. And that doesn't include if I have to like make or edit YouTube videos, which is makes me want to like never look at a computer again. <laughs> um, but yeah, we got that sorted out. So let's get up and do some real work. Nothing too exciting, guys. Just some steel bowls and some sugar. So this is our new shipment of Mastic Gum. They always got the cool packaging. And these are 
These are really cool tins, 20 gram tins. And then it's in the plastic baggie on the inside so it doesn't spill. It's like 2.30 now, still packing up some orders. Finishing up the organ supplement stuff. I already did the Wi-Fi shielding in Frankie's Natural, shipped out a lot of bed canopies and stuff. This is all the orders I did today. Yeah, we sent out a few of the twin canopies, some of the king canopies, and we still have the folding canopies available. We sent out one of the queen today. Famous business quote by Frank Tofano. You're gonna get f***ed in the ass when you start a business, but it's better if it's with lube and gentle. So like, you know, if you're trying to buy something, you know, you go to a few different companies, or like, here's an example. Like my electric bill was like $4,000 last month, but now I found a different electrical supplier. So it's gonna be like $3,200. So still not too happy about it, but it's not that bad, you know? You know, it's like you'd rather get robbed on the street and have your wallet stolen than get the crap beaten out of you and have your wallet stolen. So yeah, at the end of the day, you still lost your wallet, but you know, hey, at least you don't have a black eye or a missing liver, you know? <laughs> so my guys are sending out all the duck eggs. And these are the meat orders today, not as many as yesterday. So this is pretty much everything we have for the post office this week. These are all the food orders from over the weekend that my guys packed up. And then this is the Wi-Fi shielding naturals, organ supplement stuff that I just uh, that I just did. I don't think this local post office is too happy <laughs> about the increased volume and workload, but whatever. So there's been this like homeless guy that's been sleeping out here. I called the police a few times to like just tell him to leave because like in new york that's typical but over here like where we are in pennsylvania that like that does not fly like having a homeless guy sleeping outside of your but that, that's my luck right so this guy was like leaving stuff everywhere and food and uh and he was like leaving his suitcase here during the day because he was like oh no one's gonna take it he was using like our electrical thing to charge his phone which i i locked it now you know, one day I left like an envelope in his suitcase with some money and I was like, please don't, I, I wrote on the envelope, please don't sleep here. This is an active business. I put like, uh, I'm not gonna say how much, but more money than I should have in the envelope to get him to go away. And then he was sleeping here the next day, you know? So I was like, I was like, let me be nice. I won't call the police again. I don't even know if the police checked, but let me be nice. Let me give him an envelope with some money. Hopefully he goes away and doesn't come back. Next day he's sleeping there. So, so I put his I put his suitcase in a garbage bag. I put it by our dumpster, let him know that I will throw his stuff out if he if he is here again. So then his stuff he didn't leave his stuff here anymore, but I had enough of it. You know, he was he's leaving garbage everywhere, he's smoking cigarettes. My last straw when I called the police was he like vomited all over the front in like outside by the street. And when I pulled my car up and I stepped out of my car. I looked down and I was stepping out. I was, so, I was pissed. I was pissed. But, you know, it goes to show, like, you can be nice sometimes, but some people just don't really care, you know? Like, I bet you that homeless guy has never had someone do that for him in his life. And then he still comes and sleeps here the next day. So go figure. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it, it doesn't affect the business operations too much. Otherwise, then I'd be flipping out. All right. So we got one of the FedEx trucks here. We're just loading up the... Uh, the meat orders for today, Tuesday. That's pretty much it. We basically sent out all the orders this week. So the rest of the week is going to be like prep and getting stuff ready for next week. But the reason like I'm doing the beef barley stew and we're going to try to make some sauerkraut and uh, pickles this week is because it's one of the rare weeks where I don't have any meat, to, uh, any meat or any stuff coming in. So my guys might not have that much stuff to do, which is usually unheard of because like they're either making cookies or meat granola or something. So a uh, very, very unusual week where we're doing something extra. So that's how kraut and those pickles. Maybe I'll show you guys us making them, but they take like three weeks to ferment. So they're, they're not going to be available until like middle of October, probably. And then the beef barley soup though will be ready for next week. So when this video is posted, you guys should be able to buy the beef barley stew, unless it was all sold out, which I wouldn't be surprised because we're not making that much. But yeah, that's gonna be it for the Tuesday vlog. I'm just gonna organize my tools so I can maybe get some stuff, those vinyl curtains set up for tomorrow so there's less of a draft in here. But, uh, see you guys for Wednesday.
What's up guys, it's Wednesday and <laughs> I survived. I drove to New York and back this morning. I had to pick up some restaurant equipment. So we got down here at 3 p.m. Uh, just before my guys are about to wrap things up. Most of us did not pick up yesterday, which I'm not too happy about. So guys, if your packages are a little delayed, you know it's not my fault. But uh, I don't think there's gonna be too much going on today. I have to uh, show my guys how to make the sauerkraut, the pickles, and the barley soup probably tomorrow and Friday. So I might be here a little while, but. Yeah, it's late, so I think FedEx already came and picked all the packages up. So my guys, I guess, didn't have too much to do today. Uh, there used to be these racks all along the walls. I told my guys to, to remove the ones over there. I guess they took these apart too, but. Uh, so we have a bit better organization, however, uh, I think we're going to have to maybe put these racks uh, vertically instead of horizontally so that I can put some more cooking equipment over here. The uh, produce order is here. All high quality organic stuff. We got shiitake mushrooms for the beef barley stew. Very expensive guys. Organic cabbage for the sauerkraut. Here's the herbs for the beef barley stew. Some more cabbage. I think those are the, uh, these are the uh, expensive, I think Persian pickles, mini cucumbers. Yeah, this is what we're going to use for the, the sweet and sour pickles. And then we got some uh, lemons and limes for the water keeper. Some type of water leak in the freezer. So there was like, I don't know, good amount of ice on the floor. My guys filled up like three garbage bins with ice, so I don't know what's up with that. Uh, I don't think that, I think that's it for today because I came down here so late, so not too much going on. Uh, maybe tomorrow we'll send out a small amount of orders. Yeah, but that's really it for today. Not a crazy amount going on. We sent out a small amount of orders. My guys cleaned up and organized a lot of stuff. Not typical. Usually we're stuck doing food prep or making stuff. Uh, so tomorrow, maybe we can get everything ready for the uh, the soup and all the vegetables prepped. And uh, then Friday, we got the more chicken delivery coming in and some meat to organize. And then, I don't know, we'll see what we do this weekend. What's up, guys? It's Thursday morning. Uh, I got up at 7 uh, when we start just to show my guys, like, how to chop the vegetables, how to do the sauerkraut. So the game plan is do a little more work with them. We're gonna go home around 10, 11, I got a meeting and I'm gonna eat breakfast. And also it's a really nice sunny day, so I might actually try to get a few hours of sun. And then we'll come back around two or three o'clock, uh, show them how to do the brine for the pickles and uh, make sure everything's made correctly. And uh, that should be that. Yeah, so it's a simple soup, guys. We got some organic onions here. These are all the herbs. Uh, well, this is the dill for the pickles. We have some thyme, some rosemary, and uh, organic celery over here, a lot of organic shiitake mushrooms these are expensive but they had a lot of flavor all right guys we went home we ate something gave myself sun poisoning the door is locked hey we got some more deliveries let's see what my guys did this whole time looks like my guys mopped the warehouse not really sure if we were supposed to do that because the type of floor but it should be fine actually looks dirtier than before with the water on Finally got my labels for our new product, Beef Butter Moisturizer. Uh, this would have been launched by the time uh, I post this video, guys, but uh, we have all the product ready. We've just been waiting on the labels to, uh, to sell it. Then we have a new secret product coming on organ supplements that you guys might see in a few weeks. Looks good, but the jars are slanted, so... The label has its own ears, too. Pickles all ready. Just put some salt on the sauerkraut. We're going to finish the rest of it tomorrow. And uh, I got to buy some more uh, glass gallon jugs for the fermentation. So not a complete waste of a Thursday. We got everything for the beef and barley stew prep. So we're going to cook that tomorrow. The high quality collagen broth that took three days to make is going in there with all the high quality organic ingredients. This is gonna be the like healthiest, best soup ever created ever, basically. 
And uh, we got the pickles ready, all organic ingredients, simple flavors, and just plain sauerkraut with salt. So those from the point you guys see this video, probably three weeks they'll be for sale, but the beef and barley stew would have been already for sale. So we'll see you guys tomorrow, Friday. I'm gonna lose my mind. Oh, I just remembered I'm supposed to film today. <laughs> so what are we doing at Frankie's Range Meat on Friday? My guys are labeling the beef butter. He opted to cut the label. So this is all ready to ship out. We are portioning the tenderloin stew meat for the beef barley stew. We got some dried beef that we're just doing for the meat granola. Oh, our farmer sent us some um, fresh lamb, which looks way too fatty. Uh, but I'm gonna take a look at this uh, maybe tomorrow and uh, figure it out. They, they have like, I think 15 or 20 lamb ready to slaughter. So we might do a, a local lamb package. But if you guys want fresh lamb, I'm gonna leave this like this fresh and I'm gonna sort how I wanna sell it. And maybe there'll be like three or four fresh lamb packages. It's a very limited amount. Okay, and some eggs came in. I think it's mostly duck eggs, but uh, I'm gonna sort out how much chicken eggs I have here. Also got another pallet of chicken in the freezer. <laughs> so now we got, that's all the local chicken share. That's the local chicken share. So hopefully this guy gives me a, a final invoice and final price on this uh, meat. So we can finally start selling the, uh, the local chicken share, which I'm excited about. We got lamb, probably have some corn and soy free pork. I mean, we, we do sell corn and soy free Iberico pork, but it's a little expensive. So we might have some more affordable pork coming soon as well. But uh, I'm gonna go home and uh, eat something and then I'm gonna come back, show my guys how to, uh, how to make the beef barley stew. G guys, I was trying to figure out how much I'm gonna charge for this stew. And with the headache, I think it's gonna be at least $20. I, I can't do it less than $20 a jar. It's just too much work. It's way too much work. To, to do all those ingredients organic like that, it's just crazy. Yeah, the beef tallow bomb is ready. We're gonna have the tooth powder back maybe in a week or two. I'm designing a new logo for it. I gotta go to Home Depot and get some bolts so I can install some of these vinyl curtains, but that should be good. All right, guys, beef barley stew is fully ready. <laughs> it was like $50 worth of mushrooms in each one. <laughs> all right, guys, so this is all the meat from one lamb here in this crate. We have the organs, so I think I'm just gonna put the organs separately for I don't know how much money. You get the whole lamb liver, the two kidneys, and the heart. He only ground up like five pounds of ground lamb. We have some lamb ribs, probably like not that much meat on these, but that's okay. These are all lamb shanks, so these are like bottom part of the leg. This is lamb neck. This is lamb leg. So I'm guessing this is the top of the leg and this is the bottom of the leg. So we got the shanks and the top of the leg. These are all the loins. So we have the lamb loin. This is like the lamb New York strip and porterhouse. And then this is the lamb sirloin. So there's a few lamb sirloins here. I wonder if this is everything because I don't see rib chops here. Anyway, we'll have the fresh lamb, a few packages available for you guys. All right, so these are about 12 pounds each package. Everyone's gonna get some of something. This one has lamb legs, lamb shank, lamb neck. You guys are gonna get lamb ribs. It's gonna be two sirloins and one ground beef. So. 12 pounds are pretty much the same stuff. We only have two, three, five fresh lamb packages available. Yeah, so not too much going on Friday, guys. We're just finishing up some food prep. I showed you guys we're making more meat for the meat granola. We got the beef barley stew finishing. Uh, my electrician buddy's here. He had to fix a bunch of things. Uh, drainage pipe on the freezer. Uh, one of the units, condenser, short-circuited. Some stuff wasn't working. And just like a few odds and ends here and there. So. Tomorrow, Saturday, I'll probably just do 
more meat prep. Uh, we'll show you guys the finished stew. We'll put it on the website. And uh, anything else launching this week? We need to make some more organ grind. We got some more 95.5 Lean Blend. Uh, and we just got to do the Saturday, Sunday. My guys got to do all the orders for this week. So we'll see. But I'll see you guys tomorrow, Saturday. What's up, guys? It is Saturday. Uh, my guys were making the organ grind and some 95.5 Lean Blend earlier. This is the restock. And now we are jarring up the beef barley stew. So here we have it. 16 ounce jar. We're also just putting the sauerkraut in the glass gallon containers. I wasn't really sure what price to put the uh, stew at. So right now it's $15, but I think we can reduce the price in the future. Uh, the only reason I made it a little more expensive is because we use tenderloin stew meat in that batch. And then when we just use other stew meat, we should be fine. So I have to do the orders for the non meat businesses today. And also I think we're gonna mix up the remineralizing tooth powder. That should be available in like two weeks. We're waiting on designs and labels for that. And the only thing I'm worried about now is the, this Biltong company, the last order they sent, a box was lost in transit. I had to pay $400 out of my own pocket for it to place another order with them. Now, the second order, I'm missing a box. So if that happens, I'm not paying, I've had enough of this. I'm not paying them jack shit. I'm not gonna pay them for the whole freaking invoice because now I'm pissed. We got, we got everything we're supposed to besides one of the boxes. So I don't know if they're messing up. I don't know if FedEx is messing up, but I'm, I'm not paying for their mistake again. So I, I reached out to them via email. I'll see what they have to say. So, sometimes the delivery's a little messed up. Like they'll mark it as delivered and it didn't come yet. I don't, I don't know what happened. Sometimes that can happen with like uh, multiple order shipments if there's like seven packages together, but... I'm not too worried about it yet because I didn't pay him yet. So the small amount of chicken eggs that we got yesterday on Friday, you guys like bought them all without me even sending out an email. But we do have the duck eggs and the quail eggs. I double checked the price and I did reduce it a little bit um, just to kind of make them comparatively more affordable compared to the chicken eggs. But when you pay for duck eggs, they're not really more expensive because you're getting more, they're bigger. You're getting more food in the egg, so. Um, we also have like a, a very small amount of small duck eggs available, only like five orders. Those will be a little cheaper. Man, that freezer came in handy. We got a safe fermentation chamber, like sealed off. And if it gets a little too cold, there's heaters in the doors of the freezer so I can turn those on and it'll get the internal temperature up. So how, how? it's huge, huge freezer. It's heated and it's sealed off. So nothing can get in there if there's any flies or whatever. So that's great. Perfect, perfect setup. And, and this freezer isn't working anyway. I would need to get a new uh, uh, compressor, condenser and everything to, to cool it. And we don't need it anyway because we got the huge freezer. Imagine if I went to the airport looking like this, definitely getting screened. Just want to show you guys, this is not like a soup, you know? This is a super thick stew with a ton of super high quality beef tenderloin, organic mushrooms, very expensive ingredients. So when you actually go to eat this, you know, you're probably diluted with a little bit of water. Like same thing with our water kefir. You know, it's so concentrated, you usually cut it with some water. What's up guys, it is Sunday. I wear the same thing every day and I haven't changed my hair. So I feel like when the clips change, you guys just think it's the same day. Uh, not a crazy amount going on. My guys already did all the meat and egg orders. I'll show you that real quick. Uh, we're making the water kefir. We just finished up a batch of apple, lemon. We're gonna do some ginger lime. I'm showing one of my guys how to make the lip balm. So in addition to having the moisturizing cream and the tooth powder back, um, the lip balm is gonna be back too in a few weeks. Uh, do a price reduction on the remineralizing tooth powder. I thought it was gonna be really expensive because of the K2 powder, which is literally like thousands and thousands of dollars per pound but because the weight isn't the same as the volume it's actually like double like the volume of the powder because it's a powder and it's not a solid is like almost double the weight i actually have like twice as many 
things of tooth powder as I thought I would. So it's still gonna be, you know, like, I don't know, 12 or $15 for the thing of tooth powder. And that's like a crazy good price because it's almost like pure mineral. <laughs> it's basically just a very, very high mineral tooth powder with vitamin K in it. But I'll stop talking about that because we're not, not gonna have it ready for a little while. All right, so we got the meat orders ready to ship out. Just gotta put them in styrofoam coolers. I don't know what the deal with this ice situation is. Yeah, and then over here we have all of the chicken eggs and the duck eggs ready to ship out Monday. Uh, we just have some duck eggs and some quail eggs left. Hopefully we get uh, chicken eggs in another week or two. Yeah, as I said, we're not really doing much today. Uh, I might try to put these vinyl strip doors up now. At least, oh wait, that pipe's in the way. All right, never mind. I can't actually do that. I got to get a gas pipe cut. Yeah, this is like the ghetto job I did with some cheap vinyl door, but it doesn't go down all the way to the floor, so I got to put a new one up. That gas pipe needs to be cut. So I got to get a plumber in here because I have no clue what I'm doing just to get that gas pipe out of the way. And then the door over there, I might get that curtain set up, but that's kind of heavy duty. Yeah, the extent of my mechanical experience is screwing holes and screws and walls. So I'm just going to print some orders out, do them, and then I guess that'll be it for the vlog. So, I'm, I don't know about this idea, bro. I'm, filming every day is not fun. Uh, so, maybe we'll try to keep up the weekly vlogs, maybe not. I tried that beef barley stew yesterday for lunch absolutely delicious but there's like no fat in it and it's just a little bit of salt so if you want to add cream or some more salt to it you can right now it's kind of just like minimally inflammatory so all that stuff guys frankiestrangemeat.com frankiestrangefoods.com we didn't touch too much on like organ supplements and wi-fi shielding and all the other businesses but that lemon light fixed formula absolutely delicious i tried it this time it's very very good highest quality electrolyte mix on the market all natural mineral chelations. So if you guys have any questions or curious about the businesses, frank com has everything. Uh, I don't really know uh, what's happening this week outside of us hopefully getting the potato chips back in stock. I don't know if I'm going to get more meat in this week because everything's kind of delayed, but we'll see. So thank you guys for joining. Hopefully you enjoy the new weekly style vlogs and I'll see you guys for the next video. Probably some shorts.